Hello, Reward Clinicians. This is Ali Nase, and I wanted to share with you a retreatment case that I did six months ago and saw this morning again for a follow up. As you know, the XP3D shaper and finisher instruments are very useful for cases of root canal revision. We've created a step by step technique card for you guys for using these instruments effectively during retreatment cases that I wanted to share with you in this video. A copy of this technique card is attached below this video for downloading. Today's case is a mandibular second premolar that had root canal therapy and a crown several years ago. The patient was unaware of when the treatment was done, except that it was done a few years ago, but there was a well-sealing crown present that appeared adequately filled, but a large periapical lesion was present. A surgical epicoectomy was also a possibility in this particular case, but due to the proximity of the mental foramen and the neurovascular bundle after CBCT analysis, it was deemed to be a high risk and therefore a non-surgical revision was recommended. Following access preparation using a Duracut brown burr from the Rewaldendo access kit and then further modification of the access with the saber cut burr and the long Duracut burr, access was modified and straight line access was achieved to the gutta percha in the root canal. The ESX2008 orifice opener was then used at a higher RPM to remove the gutta percha in the upper half of the root canal and prepare a well to receive the solvent. So the space was fully dried out as a result, no water present, no aqueous solution before the chloroform was applied to the space. After waiting for about 30 seconds for the softening of the gutta percha, the 3D shaper file was used at 1000 RPM and 2 Newton centimeters of torque in an up and down motion while on the endosync hand peaks and the endosync was connected to the endosync AI apex locator. This is a very nice combination because the connection of the endosync AI to the endosync allows you to know where you are in the root canal during the retreatment process. So as you get closer to the apex, the endosync AI will actually indicate and signal to you that you are at the apex. And if you have programmed the handpiece to stop at the apex, as you reach the apex, the instrument will actually stop. And once the 3D shaper file reaches the full length, then I record this length, this analog length using my endo ring, and then the 3D finisher size 30 file is going to be used here in this case, also at 1000 RPM to remove any of the remaining gutta percha on the walls, which was beyond the reach of the shaper. A higher RPM can be used if the filling material is hard. Generally, I recommend 1,000 RPM, but you can go as high as a couple thousand RPM in this particular situation. After using the 3D finisher, wood sodium have chloride. Now, the remaining gutta percha on the wall was easily removed and stuck to the tip of this instrument. The 3D shaper will adapt to the canal walls and remove dentin anatomically. The three cycles of 20 seconds each with alternating between different solutions of sodium hypochlorite and EDTA can help finish the anatomical shaping in these types of cases. So 20 seconds with hypochlorite, irrigate out and add EDTA, 20 more seconds, irrigate out and 20 more seconds with the hypochlorite. And at this point, most of the time you are done. You can do your final irrigation. And at this point, as you can see, a radiograph was exposed to make sure that all the gutta percha and the debris has been removed. And you can see a very clean canal, which is remarkable considering the size of the gutta percha that was present. And here at this point, but only use really two instruments in this route. The canal was then dried after further irrigation and given its originally large diameter, I went off the bat and used a 7004 biceramic coated cone to check the fit. And anatomical shaping now requires a little bit of cone fitting at the end because the right cone has to fit to the length and have a little bit of tug back. So it requires a little bit of uh, cone fitting uh, because the shape is really anatomical and it hasn't been really carved into the canal using round files. And now in this case, as I mentioned, I chose a large size and it turned out to be the exact correct size right off the bat. BC sealer high flow was then injected into the coronal section of the tooth, the coronal half, uh, and then it was pushed and brought down to the full apex using the XP 
finisher file, but at a much lower RPM of about 300 to 500 RPM. The master cone was then slowly seated, allowing for hydraulics to flow back the sealer and allow the full seating of the cone to the apex. The cone was then seared off at the orifice and condensed down using first a size 10 plugger followed by a size 9 plugger to make sure that the, all the margins are sealed off and no sealer is exposed at that interface. Excess sealer was then removed using an ultrasonic and water and the chamber was cleaned dry and was filled using a BC Indo restorative material to achieve coronal seal of this axis opening. The follow-up radiograph today, six months later, shows significant healing in an asymptomatic tooth. Now I will follow up with this patient and share the full healing of the case with you. Incidentally, I also did and used the same protocol today on another patient right immediately after this patient that I saw for the follow-up, which also, this patient also had a very poor root canal and a lateral incisor. And what I just wanted to do was to share with you this little shot of using the XP shaper in this canal and how the XP shaper pulled the entire gutta percha cone and wrapped it around itself uh, during the process of shaping, which shows how nicely the combination of the 3D shaper and finisher can be used in these types of retreatments to remove the gutta percha and clean the walls anatomically without having to remove excessive amount of dentin using these round files. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to us on our website where I hope to bring to you more videos to help improve your clinical patient care. For Real World Endo, I'm Ali Nese, and let's save some teeth.